Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. This is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on right here, Taurus. So this is a big one. You ready? Huge, gigantic. Ready? So the Seven of Cups, first card out, sets the tone for everything. This is options, choices, decisions, confusion of some way. I asked what the root of the Seven of Cups was, and it is the Six of Wands in reverse, okay? A lack of success, um, just a lack of success. So this story opens up with this particular person in a state of confusion because they can't seem to get a handle on some kind of success in their life, okay? I asked what it was about, and the Two of Wands comes on top of it, the future. So whomever this is for, you are contemplating and confused, kind of, about what it is that you are going to do in your future. And I mean, like, probably immediate future, okay? So there's, there's someone here that is deeply contemplating what the future looks like, okay? And, and this person wants it to be different because it's rooted in a lack of success, right? So far, hasn't worked out for you. So you're looking at how to change and do something different in your life. The moon in reverse comes on top of this and talks about um, coming to terms with the proverbial struggle of every human being. It's the struggle between that which we do not want to accept as the truth and that which we know to be the truth. That's the classic struggle of the moon. So you're struggling here between something that you know to be true inside of you and something that you don't want really to accept that as the truth. Okay? The moon in reverse says it's time to come to terms with this. The Hierophant in reverse, and cut loose of some kind of ties, commitments, obligations in your life. Mm -hmm. That's what the Hierophant is about. It's about the undoing of commitments. Um, the Hierophant in reverse is also, I want to point out, a card about not listening to your higher power. Because Hierophant, the word Hierophant, um, is rooted in Greek, and it means the actual word Hierophant right? I mean, that's a weird name, right? Why call this guy the Hierophant? Hierophant means the one who deciphers messages from the Most High, okay? A.K.A. a priest back in the day, right? Or it could, I guess it could be a priest or a priestess today too, honestly. So, with it being in reverse, it means that you're not deciphering what you're being told properly or effectively or efficiently, Okay, and according to this card and the rest of this reading, what you're being told is that you have to loosen the load and cut loose of some kind of obligations or commitments that you really don't want to in order to level up in your life. The Queen of Pentacles in, in the upright. I almost said in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the upright, right? This is two things. This is the position, perhaps, that some of you will have to cut loose, holding title of some sort. Um, if this is a career thing, perhaps it is boss lady or boss boss man. Um, perhaps it is the title in some kind of a relationship. Perhaps it is um, a, a title on paper some way. And you have to let go of this identity in order to step into the new phase of your life. Okay? This Queen of Pentacles clarifying the major arcana also says that by doing this, by coming to terms with this deep internal struggle 
between that what you you know in your guts to be true but that you really don't want it to be true coming to terms deep down inside with that will help you to flip the hierophant in the upright and be able to decipher the wisdom that's trying to be imparted onto you through your intuition, through your soul, speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you down the path of your best and highest good, right? Interesting. Okay. So the Ten of Pentacles. This is what's in your future, Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles. Future, foundation, um, money, security, uh, 10 is the number of completion. This is achievement. You have arrived in this 10 of Pentacles, whatever this means to you, but it means something about your sense of well-being, your sense of well-being being achieved and built. And it's followed by the world card, which is a massive, massive, massive life-altering cycle shift. The world card is the end of a phase of your life, and it is only brought about by some real critical self-analyzation. So this world card says, by doing this critical self-analyzation over here, right, by, by contemplating your future and coming to terms with something that you know deeply that you have to do that you don't want to do, is the path to get to where you want to go. Okay, what's this about? Well, first of all, the chariot comes on top of the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the magician. What this is saying is that um, you see the chariot is about a turn of events. It's about a turn of events. It's about the universe taking you in the direction that is in your best and highest good. And through this turn of events, it puts you in a position to take advantage of the resources that source is presenting to you for you to use to do what it is that you got to get done. Okay, the magician talks about manifestation, power, your mind. Um, you must get your mind straight. You must get your mind straight. You must be focusing on this Ten of Pentacles and not struggling with your, your intuition. You need to focus. Focus your mind on your intuition and you will always be led to your best and highest good. The world, this cycle is changing. What's changing? Well, the Five of Pentacles in reverse says, well, on a loose, on, in a loose way, you're coming out of the cold. Okay, but on a more serious way, this card is about um, coming out of a bad financial situation. Um, this card is about turning things around in your sense of well-being. So you may be coming out of a bad financial situation with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles right here and the Magician and the Chariot. But there's some kind of belief system that you have to address that is holding you back. And that's what you don't want to do in that moon in reverse. What's going on? Well, a tower. Because the, 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 the direction that you are feeling led to go is going to cause some kind of upheaval, some kind of beef in your sense of well-being. Um, family, um, maybe not agreeing with your decisions or um, having to move away with this eight of wands in the world right here, moving to a different location or a different, different part of town or traveling. Okay. So there's something that you're being asked to do in your guts that you're not paying attention to enough. Okay, and you're, you don't want to pay attention to it because it's going to cause some kind of upheaval or drama in your life. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a messenger, and I do believe that you are going to get a message. The messenger of this Page of Wands is the person that's bringing you, or the, the entity that's bringing you the information that is causing you to have to make this decision right here in this reading. 
What's it about? Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change. Something's going to change and something's going to change quickly if you so choose to accept it. Okay? Um, what's the problem? Well, the Five of Wands, all kinds of conflict all over the place. Internal conflict, external conflict, all conflicted. Why? The Six of Cups. Because of family. Because of family. Children, uh, the warm fuzzies, your husband, your wife, your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, family. Okay? And that's, I think, what this Hierophant is over here. I think it's this the four walls that make up your warm, fuzzy sense of well-being and your emotions, whatever it is for you, okay? Seven of Swords. You feel like you would be betraying these people to leave them, or you feel like um, you're leaving them behind, or maybe they'll feel betrayed that you're leaving them behind somehow. Ten of Wands says, if you want to complete and accomplish what it is that you truly want to manifest in your life with this magician right here, you have to lay down the burden of this feeling of deception for doing or taking this offer or engaging in this opportunity that is absolutely going to better your whole life. You can't feel guilty about it. Because it is being divinely orchestrated into your life. And whatever your issue is right here with this warm, fuzzy family situation and betrayal, deception, leaving somebody behind, being left behind, whatever that's about right there, that's in you. Okay, it's not in your cards. It's not in the way that your future is being laid out. It's inside of your own mind being air energy with the swords. The Ten of Wands, right? To get to where you want to go, Page of Cups in reverse. Your creativity where you are is stifled. Um, you can't create the way that you need to create to do whatever it is that this person is doing here when you are stifled by this situation. Maybe it's a mom leaving home. Maybe it is a parent that is selling a childhood home. Perhaps it is you as a mother, father, or parent um, living your own life for the first time ever in your whole life and your kids are freaking out about it. They're like, what? You smoke? <laughs> I've never seen you smoke a cigarette before. And you're over there like, yep, picked it up yesterday, right? <laughs> so something like that is going on here. Okay? All right. Three of Swords. Again, in your mind, the grief, the sorrow, the pain, in your mind, death needs to come to an end. It all, it's all just in your head. There is... What you're being asked to do, whatever this situation is, whatever this movement that you have inside of you, whatever you're being asked to do here is way, way, way more significant in the grand scheme of things than, dare I say, silly human relationships, okay? Our relationships are important. Having emotional attachments to people, connections to people is extremely important, but what you have to understand is that people who are living out of their human box understanding um, and, and putting that human box understanding on you and you feeling and seeing that there's a deeper, bigger purpose to this gigantic thrust forward that your life is about to take, um, you... are having a hard time getting out of that box yourself and seeing that there is way more significance to the movement that's about to happen in your life than just, you know, my kid, I just want to be close to my kid because he's in college and I just want to be close to him. Or I just want to be close to my mom because she is uh, getting old, right? So death, this all needs to come to an end. You are about to step into a massive, massive transformation into the next phase, the next chapter of your life. 
and allowing this boxed in human mentality to keep you from destiny is, is crazy. Death needs to come to an end, an absolute ending, so you can transform the Three of Cups. So you can meet who it is that you're going to meet and be where it is you're going to be so you can be there when you're supposed to be there. Joy, celebration, friendship, meeting someone. The Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. 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 The next phase of your life involves some kind of partnership between you and someone else and I think the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles is both of you. I think you are the Queen of Cups because you're coming into this mature, grown understanding of knowing that you know that you know. And when you know, you can't unknow and you have to follow the knowing. Because you did, or hopefully you will, and it takes you to exactly what it is that your soul desires. And the King of Pentacles being you, seated in your throne of power, in success, being really, really good with the world, really, really good with life, safe and secure. It's also your person, right? That you can love as the Queen of Cups. The person that is going to be a stable, steady, solid presence in your life. The Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups a little bit later down here, somewheres, okay? So, this massive turning point in your life, but you got to leave something behind in order to engage with it. Ace of Wands in reverse to the Four of Cups in reverse. Um, this is... Um, emotional apathy and the ace of wands in reverse is a lack of motivation queen of swords talks about chopping it chopping it slicing dicing and disseminating the whole situation to get to the bottom of the truth and what is the truth the truth is is that your emotional apathy is going to steal the potential of your future if you continue to allow this situation over here to dictate to you how it is you're going to live your life or live your future. Queen of Swords says, own yourself, own your truth, and stand in your power to the Three of Cups. So you can get the show on the road, be where you need to be, so the universe can take you to where it is that you need to go. Ten of Pentacles, the world, the chariot, the magician, the queen of Pentacles, the hierophant, the king of cups, the queen of cups, the three of cups twice, the ten of cups in the center of your reading, and the death card. I mean, Taurus, do you see how hugely, gigantically important this is? Ten of cups in the center of your reading. It's everything that you've ever wanted. To the chariot, again, second time. And the universe is just waiting for you. They're just waiting for you to get in so they can take you. But what's keeping you from getting in is the empress in reverse. What's keeping you from driving this chariot forward to take you to where it is that you need to go is your lack of understanding the difference between the basic human and the soul. That's the problem. Man, your soul was here way before you took your first breath in this meat suit, and your soul will be here way after the meat suit finally wears out. What you do in this lifetime matters to the next journey of your soul. It matters. It makes a difference. Your soul in this reading is telling you to go somewhere. Whatever you are, whatever this situation is for you, whoever you are, this person's soul is telling them to go in a direction, but there is all kinds of extracurricular peripheral bullshit going on that keeps this person thinking, well, I can't, I can't leave the nest. I can't go. I can't leave people behind. What would they do without me? I'm sure they'll figure it out. I'm sure they will. 
What will they do without me? I'm so important to them. What would they do without me? They're going to be just fine. Empress in reverse. You're not doing it right. You're not pointing your mind in the direction of your intuition and manifesting accordingly. Mm -mm. The Empress in reverse is a card about a creative block. A creative block between what? Between you and the universe. The universe cannot co-create with you if your free will is not allowing it. And your free will is struggling with that moon to, to cut loose of some kind of big commitment, tie, job, family, living situation. Cutting loose of something to go in the direction that you're being led to go. And they can't co-create with you when you're not free willingly participating. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get a new perspective. What's the perspective of the mind? Get a new perspective and begin to focus your mind on this big, huge change. Begin to be open and receptive to it. Pray about it. Ask about it. Get ready for it. And, and, and plan on how it is that your life is going to be when this actually happens. Because for this person that I'm talking to, this is freaking happening. This is happening. But you have to let go of some kind of identity because you can't take that identity into the future with you. This is a new you. Brand new you. Brand new day. Brand new chapter. Brand new turning point. Brand new destination. Brand new you. The Wheel of Fortune on top of the chariot. It just doesn't get any better than this. Just doesn't. Just doesn't. The ten, the five of cups in reverse. Need to move on. Need to move on. Need to move on from any kind of despair, loss, regret, disappointment. Why? Nine of Pentacles. Because you need to stand in your power. Move on from all of it so you can stand in your power. Bring a culmination to the whole situation and the high priestess, and follow your intuition. Your soul is speaking to you. Your soul is talking to you. They want you to do something. They want you to move in some kind of a direction so you can be presented with the situation to create what it is that you want to create in your life. They're not just going to drop it in your lap. No, they're going to arrange things so you can see it and go, wow. Okay, I'm going to take this. King and Queen of the King and Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups down here. The whole situation is being divinely orchestrated for you and and the resources are being provided for you to create what it is that you want to create in your life, but you've got to get over some kind of boohoo and back here. The Six of Pentacles, giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life with family. Ace of Cups in reverse, heart feelings. Temperance, temper yourself about all of this. Temper the whole situation. Find peace in your mind, in your emotions, in your desires, and in your sense of well-being. And temper yourself. Emperor in reverse to justice in reverse. Because being out of control of your life is an injustice to your life. Mm -hmm. See, the emperor's lesson four up there is the empress, right? Lesson four is the emperor. The emperor does on the outside of his life what the empress does on the inside of her life. He executes the empress's ability to manifest according to her intuition. He executes it on the outside of, of life, in real life. The emperor in reverse is you not doing that. It's you being out of control. This is also about a domineering and controlling energy, which is um, you trying to fight against against the universe trying to fight against spirit justice in reverse it's a lack of accountability and it's an injustice for your life stop already four of pentacles pull your shit together pull your shit together pull yourself together come to terms with whatever this tearing away is for you and and come to terms with it to the fool because there is a brand new journey a brand new beginning a brand new chapter a turning point a massive 
change that is coming to your life, but you have to let it happen. Justice, it's in your best interest. It's in your best interest to let this happen. Six of Cups, just like this Six of Cups up here, okay? Family, home, nostalgia, memories, children, the four fuzzy walls that make up your place of emotional fulfillment at the moment in your life. Okay, Ten of Cups in reverse. You don't want to upset all of that. King of Swords in reverse. There might be arguments. There might be uh, harsh words that are said if you were to take this opportunity, if you were to go in this direction. Um, perhaps it's divorce. Perhaps your kids are going to freak out. Your family's going to freak out. Everybody's going to freak out. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords in reverse, whatever this is, is definitely you not having absolute clarity in your mind because you're afraid that there's going to be a meltdown all around you. And there is with that tower right there. There is. But the meltdown has to happen for everybody to be able to go in their own directions. It seems to me like maybe you're the glue that is holding this all together. And without you, everything you think everything will disintegrate. But the path has come to where you need to do you and these people over here need to do them without you. Because in their journey, they need to learn how to be big and strong themselves. So one day, they too can step in to this beautiful future that's on this table in front of me for you. But you are stealing them you are stealing from them. You are impairing their journey by allowing them to be codependent on you or for you to be codependent on them. The time has come, whatever the situation is for whoever you are, the time has come for y'all all to part ways and stand on your own two feet by yourselves. Straight up. Ace of Pentacles in reverse because you can't grow what it is that you need to grow in the environment or the situation that you're in. Four of Swords, come to terms. Come to terms with what? Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you're holding in your mind about this situation. Pick up the Fourth Sword. Bring stability to your mindset and push forward because your mindset is the only thing that's blocking you from all of this. What's your mindset? That seven of swords. I'm going to fuck them over. They're going to fuck me over. Betrayal, deception, get away with something. I'm going to feel like an asshole. Maybe I'll, I really will be an asshole if I do this, but whatever. So sometimes you have to be an asshole. Assholes get shit done. Sometimes you have to be an asshole. What comes to you? The nine of cups. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction, peace in your emotions, harmony in your life, the world. Again, second time, two Wheel of Fortunes, two world cards. Amazing. Two chariots, two justices. I mean, it's crazy, Taurus. It's crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. Okay? The world. This brand new cycle of your life is going to be everything that you want it to be. And the two of wands, your future. Focus on your future. Focus on you. You doing your future. Temperance in reverse. This imbalance inside of yourself. Queen of Pentacles to the two of cups in reverse. Because you're going to lose a position in, in life. You, you are. You're going to be trading one position for another position. And right now, the position that you're in is somehow caring or overseeing or, or managing maybe a family unit or a job or a project of some sort. And you leaving the situation, even though you want to, you feel like it is betraying the, the, the entity somehow. Uh-huh. Son, but the path to your happiness, your success, and your vitality, Nine of Pentacles, is in your independence. It's in you standing in your own two feet. King of Pentacles, it is in you owning yourself. And stepping into your power and your authority. The King of Pentacles has authority over his life. 
And this is you stepping into that, stepping into owning who you are, what you want, how you want to do it, and where it is that you want to go to get it without having anybody else's opinion matter to you, maybe for the first time ever in your life. Ten of Swords in Reverse talks about an inevitable ending. It also talks about renewal and regeneration. Let's see, to the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what this Ten of Swords in reverse is saying to the King of Wands in reverse is that you know that you cannot achieve success where you're at. You know that. You know it. The Fool. Got to go in a different direction. Now the Fool twice. You got to go in a different direction. You have, to, you have to take a quantum leap. You have to follow this moving inside of you, even though you don't understand it, even though you don't have an itinerary, even though you don't know the who, what, when, where, why, and how that things are going to unfold. There's obviously some kind of soul moving here. And this person needs to pay attention to that because it's taking you, look, the hierophant, pay attention to this. Decipher those messages. Receive the messages. Hierophant means the receiver of messages. Receive the messages that are trying to be communicated to you through your intuition, through signs and synchronicities all over your life. Receive it. Commit to it. And let its wisdom guide you. Judgment in reverse. Don't make a bad decision in your life out of self-doubt. What's the self-doubt? Well, I won't be anybody if I don't have these people backing me. Or these people won't be anybody if I'm not backing them. No. Bullshit. I call bullshit right now. Right now. Bullshit. Why? The star. Because the path and your purpose is being laid before you. A beautiful ten of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. King of pentacles. Fool. Wheel of fortune. World. Magician. Future. Death is right in front of you. It's huge. Just do it. Stop struggling. The Wheel of Fortune. Again, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the third time that's been here. At least the second. I think it's the third. The Wheel of Fortune. The divinely orchestrated steps of your life according to your intuition with the High Priestess. The devil in reverse, release your limiting beliefs. Hangman in reverse, they're stalling you, they're delaying you. What are your limiting beliefs? That this group of people right here need you to live their lives. Mm -hmm. Or that you need this group of people right here to live your life. Mm-mm. You got to find your truth. Find your truth, own your truth, live your truth. Your truth will set you free. It will. Your resistance is delaying the whole program. Eight of Pentacles, work your shit out. Work your shit out, fix it, get it right, point it in the direction that you need to go, Taurus. Point it in the direction that you need to go. There's a beautiful, absolutely fantastic new opportunity right there. But you're letting something or someone hold you back because of your own self-doubt. Hope that helps someone. Namaste.